got an unboxing and as you can tell by the logo we've got something here from Bear Creek Arsenal all right let's get this opened up so as you can see we have got an upper we'll get into this here in a second we've got a magazine and we'll get into that in a second this might have already given away what I got here we also have a buffer and spring and we have a Bear Creek sticker and that is everything in the box all right so here is our upper and I really wished I could get the whole thing in frame, but I can't with this camera in the studio. This upper is chambered in 22 WMR or 22 Magnum. And this is an upper that I've been wanting to get for a long time. Ever since I started doing all the videos with my Smith & Wesson M&P 22 Mag pistol, I wanted to get a rifle chambered in 22 Mag. And I saw that Bear Creek had one of these. I just never got around to ordering one because I've been so busy with other projects. Well, Bear Creek reached out to me and wanted me to become an affiliate. And I talked to my rep over there and I said, I would love to test out this upper. So this was sent to the channel by BCA. So let's start here at the back. This actually goes right on to any... AR-15 lower. It is side charging. I'll show you what this bolt looks like. Here is the other side. And it does have 17 and 22 stamped here on the side. And they do have this upper available and 17 HMR also. Now one thing that I really like about it is the handguard. This is a handguard that's starting to get really popular. They call this a competition style because it's smooth right here. So for people who see clamp, if you kind of look, it ramps up right here a little bit. I put one of these on my Red AR and I really do like this style of handguard. So it's pretty cool that it comes with this from the factory. So we'll show you the break out here on the end. It's kind of got a fluted break. Pretty cool looking. Now this is available in a 16 inch barreled upper and a 20 inch. I went ahead and went with the 16. I just like the looks of this one a lot better. If you buy the 20, it will have the exact same size handguard on it. So you're going to have quite a bit of barrel sticking out. Accuracy wise, the 20 probably will be a little bit better, but I'm not going to really be shooting this much past 50 yards. So I just chose to go with the 16 inch. Now the handguard here, typical Bear Creek. You got eight screws holding that on. Now the barrel in this, like I said, it is a 16 inch barrel. It is black nitride and it is a heavy barrel. The twist rate on this barrel is 1 in 16, and this handguard is a 15 inch M lock handguard. So you've got M lock here, here, all the way around. Now, if you decide you want to run this suppressed or change out the brake, it does have the half by 28 thread pitch. So, pretty standard and a lot of availability for parts for that thread pitch. Now, like I said, it is a side charger. It is a blowback gas system. And the bolt material is E9310. And the receiver on this is a billet receiver. All right, so let's start getting into some other stuff here. If you do decide to order this upper, it will not come with a mag. So just keep that in mind that you will have to order the mag separately. We'll get this out because this is the mag you're going to have to use. Now this mag is a 10 round mag and this is all they have available on their website. 
Now I did a little digging around on this and this mag is made by Black Dog Machine LLC and I did go on their website and you can buy 14 round mags from them but you will have to use this mag with this upper and as of right now on their website they only have the 10 rounders but you do have an option to go to Black Dog's website and get a 14 rounder. Now before I go get this mounted on a lower and show you what it looks like we need to talk about this when you order this upper it will come with the buffer and the spring and you do have to use this for this upper to run and one other thing about this I talked to my rep over at Bear Creek you cannot use a drop-in trigger system with this you will have to run a mil spec trigger now it's not a big deal for me I have a lower that has a mil spec trigger in it but they told me that it will not run reliably with a drop-in lighter trigger so keep that in mind also if you buy this upper you will have to run a mil spec trigger in your lower you will have to buy the mag separately and you will have to install this buffer and spring all right there it is we got it all set up we're going to run it on an anderson lower with just a mil spec trigger in it i went ahead and put the goatar red dot on this I did a review on this red dot a long time ago and I'll link that in the description below if you're interested it's actually a really nice red dot now the reason I went with the red dot is because we're going to just take this to the competition bay and run it at close range I just want to make sure this thing is going to run 100% now if it runs good and it's reliable then we're going to put an LPVO on it now let me tell you everything I did to this. So you do have to remove your charging handle to take the bolt carrier out. And you also have to remove this bolt here. And it does have an O-ring on it. But you will have to remove this and your charging handle to get the group out. I cleaned the bolt carrier real well. I also ran a bore snake through the barrel a few times. And oiled everything. And it's totally up to you. But I did take all eight of those out and I did put blue Loctite on everything. I have had those loosen up from the factory because this is not my first Bear Creek Upper. So do what you want. But I would take them out and put blue Loctite on them. Might as well just stop the problem before it starts. Now let's talk about the magazine. We'll go ahead and insert the mag. That's what it looks like with the 10 round mag in it. And it does lock back, so that's pretty cool. So it should lock back on the last round. We'll obviously figure that out in the next video. Now, speaking of the next video, we will take this thing out. We'll run a bunch of rounds through it, make sure it runs good. That'll be our first impressions video. And then uh, if it is reliable and it runs good, we'll put an LPVO on it. And then we'll uh, start shooting some groups with it and stretch it out to 50 yards maybe 100 yards and we'll see how well it groups and how accurate it is but uh definitely a pretty cool looking setup well i hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one